Hello everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I had a brainwave, so I tested this. It turns out if we play greed mode, we can still get the credit for having found items, despite the fact that we're in a different type of mode. So we don't have to get... I was going to say, don't give me the lost. We don't have to get angel rooms. Um, we do have to get some opportunity to get the things that we do need. Sure, we'll take some HP straight away. But I thought also it would be a little bit more interesting, perhaps to show some greed mode. Mix it up a little bit. I don't really play greed mode very often. Uh, and it's not really a lot to explain here. We press this button. What the heck did these just do? There's a huge spider on G's desk. <laughs> Good timing. I'm not doing anything about it. I'm playing Isaac. My loyal fans need me. Uh, you better use a glass or something. <laughs> Drama in the McGowan Douglas household. Oh. I can't actually hear what he's saying, but maybe you lot can. What? You it's dead. Friends, it's dead. Anyone who is a particular fan of spiders should turn away now. Um, because if you don't want to see the score, turn away now. This is going really well. I enjoy playing greed mode with uh, Lilith because you get a charge every single time a new wave spawns and of course that allows you to make the most of this uh, multiple... Um, what are these called? Incubuses. I'm not going to use it this time because this is the last wave and there is two more... There are two more waves. Oh, we've only got... we got here? 17 cents. I'm going to finish off. Beat the bosses. Get to the deal with the devil. And then see what we want to buy from the shop. Hopefully we can... Um, get chaos to show up. Chaos is a reasonably common thing in greed mode because in greed mode you always have the restock thing which... Um, Normally you'd have to buy from shops. And then you have to have enough money to continually buy things after that. But greed mode is so easy to scum up and it's kind of fun and we haven't seen it before, I think. So we'll just keep pushing the buttons. Double, double, oh, Steven and this Joker here. Like, I, think, I don't think this is going to be particularly challenging apart from the fact I let myself get into a bad position, which is common with my Isaac play. Just did the daily to practice, and there was a uh, uh, guppy's ta uh, guppy's paw in that deal with the devil where the spikes around both the items, and of course it was an Isaac. Oof, that was supposed daily. This this is an odd, um, an odd pairing right here. So I had the D6 already, and I didn't want to re-roll it. I wanted the guppy item. So I'm gonna take the guppy item, turn my HP into. Spirit Hearts, and then um, re-roll Guppy's Paw, but of course I took the uh, I took Guppy's Paw and I bounced off of the pedestal that, it, that then had the D6 on it and I uh, got pushed onto the spikes, which killed me. Which is a shame, but, you know, live and learn. I will take both of these because they're amazing, and also Sin Robes gives you three Black Hearts, which is basically the same as we already had. Uh, what you do here is you buy a key. go into the item room so what you get Zodiac, it could be better uh, but it could be worse but that's a 5 cent item that you don't get to pick basically now, do you take tears upgrade? I think you do fortunately we can't take anything else um, and we don't have a bomb, I will go in here against my better judgement, spend a full HP on two bombs and a donation machine very interesting this seems like a very good idea. I think this is our real game donation machine as well, not our greed donation machine. So we can buy Hive Mind or Experimental Treatment. What would you do? I mean, Hive Mind could be great if we do become Guppy or if we get any of the spider items, but I think we take Experimental Treatment on the theory that in future we could get spun out of it, and it could have given us... That would have been nice to have. Um, uh, uh, HP upgrade. I don't really know what it did for us or against us. We seem to have a tears upgrade and another one from the screw. I was going to say, I don't know if the tears upgrade that we currently have is because we bought one or because experimental treatment gave us one. But at the very least, it didn't give us a strong tears downgrade. So now we're actually pretty powerful. That was an excellent first floor. 
hoping to find one of the more interesting um, synergies that can come about with having basically every item available to you, gated only by the fact that you have to do these. And, of course, the more <laughs> of these incubuses that we have on the screen, the more ridiculously OP we're going to be. It strikes me in greed mode that your first floor is considerably harder than any floor following it. And that's not just... I mean, that's true because you haven't had any upgrades yet. But also it seems like some of these waves that we've got on this second floor are just trivial anyway. They don't really pose much of a challenge because we are doing a huge amount of damage with a huge rate of fire, which is already better than most runs that we... Oh, I didn't see you there. My mistake. Most runs that we normally have. But, uh, we'll beat Ragman up with four incubuses. Why not? Um, but I do feel like some of the first floor waves are just not feasible. So we'll make the most of uh, this by beating everything. See if the deal... Now, here the, here's the problem, of course. The deal with the devil. Well, it could have contained something we couldn't have, basically. Uh, we didn't have enough HP to take something that didn't give us HP, and we didn't go into the shop to see if there was HP available that would assist us. We've got a lump of coal, which is really cool. Very much a fan of that. We are done with this floor. We don't have to stay. But we take all the money. We buy a key if there's one on cheap. That's nicer. There's no uh, re-roll machine, and I don't want to buy something just to have it be re-rolled. Oh, f Cricket's head as well. So this is a bit of a wash of a floor, but at the same time. The spirit hearts? No. I don't want to go into the cursed room either. And there is a secret room on these floors, but um, it could basically be anywhere. And I don't really intend to go to the effort of finding it. So what the heck ever, we'll go down. We'll keep our money. There's no need to spend the money on the floor. You find it, of course, so if the floor doesn't really offer anything outrageously good, you just move on to the next one. Uh, I would like a bomb. I will buy this bomb, because this three cent bomb could be a secret room, but it's also going to be two keys. It is a secret room. Uh, it could have also re-rolled everything for us, but uh, I don't really think that's that useful. I think we also still have two black hearts. Oh, brilliant. It's not quite as good as a box of friends for greed mode as Lilith, but still pretty good. Uh, a range upgrade, I will not complain about. I mean, it's hard to... I want to complain about it, but I'm not going to because of how ridiculously powerful we are already. The only real uh, mitigating factor of a greed mode run is the fact that at the end of it all you have to beat super greed, but ultra greed. Which is, um... Definitely needs you to be fairly powerful. It's on a level, I think, with um, somewhere between Hush and Mega Satan in terms of difficulty. Uh, but it's, it's one of those ones that certainly benefits from having a large amount of uh, damage so that you can get it over and done with more quickly. There we go. And of course a large amount of HP so that if you do make any mistakes, it's not actually that big of a deal. I think I'll save my charge. We're going to get two charges for this, but I'm not going to create um, one more Incubus for the next for the, for the nightmare fight which opens the deal with the devil. Don't think it's necessary. Here's another situation. Basically, you have to do all this in one go as Lilith to get uh, the value out of it. It seems we have Gemini because we picked up uh, Zodiac, of course. So I need to press this button now because it's either that or I do this fight with only two incubuses and then I use my charge. Oh, that was terrible. It bounced back. Oh! I'm dead. I'm not dead. Why am I not dead? What have I not done to not deserve this? Well, you can't take it. Tears up is great. Pheromones is not bad for us. But I don't like the fact we are on such low HP and I don't know what it is. And we should start re-rolling. I don't really want any of those, no. I mean, the bomb... Ooh, D20. Let's show you what... Let's show the viewers at home what happens if you take the D20 in this situation. Take all that. Thank you. There is one more of those, but unfortunately I don't have the money for it. So D20 on uh, Greed Mode Run is actually better than anything we could ever get from having the ability to use 
the box of friends over and over again and i will show you why and it involves not accidentally picking up anything so i'm gonna hope oh fucking what <laughs> right okay um push this bad bad in the sense of not good get out of my way and then we'll leave okay uh hmm so we're gonna need some money oh we definitely need the hp for this situation so now We're going to waste a charge on this, basically. Because we've got a full charge and we haven't used it yet. Um, okay, that didn't... That was a bit slow. Or rather, that was a bit quick. <laughs> or whatever the words are that I'm trying to say. I'm not quite sure. So what you do is you don't take the money. There's a, another one. There's one left. Where is it? Oh! I hate trying to dodge those things from close range. Please, let me kill that. We'll hide back here for now. When do we get smart flying? Well, I'm happy to have it at this, uh, this part of the game because it's actually doing some damage to things. That, oh, <laughs> there's a creep there. Don't walk on that. Barely see it. It's doing some damage to things that are not near us, which is super useful right now. So we're not going to press the button for the boss fight. Uh, we're going to hope to see if there's a battery charge in the shop. If there is... Sorry. We'll take this one step at a time. We go into the shop, we see if there's a battery charge. If there is, which there is not, but we will want chaos. So we'll buy chaos with seven cents, because this is silly. There we go. We've got a bomb, an infested pill. The bomb will get us a battery charge, which will not restock. Important to know. Can't uh, accidentally pick up the battery charge right now. Anyway, that's okay. Right, we re-roll these. We come in here, take the battery charge. This is important. You have to have the battery charge before you do anything else. You open these. Pick up the HP. Which will give us more money in the future. Now you have to re-roll everything else, including the chests. That's the trick. Two of diamonds. Helpful. Because that means we don't have to pick up as much money in order to maybe buy a battery charge in the future. We might as well take Demon's Tail. We don't have a trinket right now. And we will take the rest of the money. And on this floor, basically, we've done one reroll, and that's been good enough. Uh, sure, we'll take nine lives, which is our second guppy item, and it's also going to give us nine lives, which is, you know, right there in the name. Can't really, uh, can't really complain about it. We'll reroll everything and hope to get something cool. Which didn't really happen. A 7 cent cube of meat might be worth it, but I'm going to save the money. A guppy item that we can't afford. That's really annoying. Oh, we are going to get some money from this, though. And we have got the two of diamonds. If in a pinch, we really, really want something. But I think we can afford the guppy item from the bosses that we're about to fight. So that's okay. Ooh, we've got Taurus on this floor. Very nice indeed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just saw. Okay. I thought it was uh, two chads, and I was like, where, where do my chads go? Where are your chads at? Do not appreciate this one bit. Just saying. Before an ass fight, you have to wait forever to happen. Ooh. Just hit either of them, don't really care. So now I'm. Basically, whenever you get the D20, you need to find a shop that has a battery in it or get the shop to have the battery in it by re-rolling a lot uh, with the restock machine. Then, you can re-roll all the pennies into stuff. But the important thing is that when you open the chest, you can then re-roll the open chest, so you have to have a re-roll available before you go around opening all the chests. And often it seems to be a good idea to basically leave single pennies down, pick up nickels. You re-roll pennies into nickels, you pick up the nickels. For goodness sake, though. This boss needs a nerf, not because it's difficult, because it's boring. I'm tired of it. Yeah, do that. Pick up all this. Get the guppy item, become guppy. Excellent. We have six cents for the next floor, but that's okay, I don't really worry too much about that and then things will probably now die reasonably quickly thanks to the fact we can fly of course um 
We don't have to worry about this creep. Thanks to the fact Taurus seems to reset over and over again anyway. I don't know if Taurus resets for every wave. Or you have to leave and come back in. But the fact that it helps us out on this fight is very useful. It's going to help us out on the greed fight and on the future floors too. We're going to here. Interesting. You take the Halo. Uh, Blood on the Martyr, what we're talking about. It's a damage upgrade. Gives us all that money, which we. I was going to say we could have rerolled. We couldn't reroll, we didn't have the reroll available. We go in here. I mean, two of diamonds basically reaches peak usefulness at 50 cents. Uh, oh. I think we're alright. I'm just going to go. Now we hope to find a battery charge in the shop. Because with the battery charge in the shop, we have basically got free everything all of the time forever. There is not one, but there is a ungated black heart. And we can re-roll the shop if we want to. We can try to enable. I'm not even going to pick it up on the off chance that I get something like a uh, Perthrow rune somehow. I don't even know if you can get runes down here. I can't say I've ever seen one. So, unfortunately, we do sort of... Ah, uh, you know what? Push the button. Have done with it. That gives us extra money. Can we buy a bomb? Do I want a speed upgrade? Not really. Blow this up on the off chance we get some cash out of it. Which we did. Two spirit hearts available. I kind of want this. Just to keep us going. Keep us going full steam. Uh, there are no more bombs. Interesting. Very well. Push this. Need some bombs. One reroll then. Did get some bombs out of it. Uh, I'm going to use the bombs to see if we get a battery charge before I open the chests. Because uh, the reroll machine can give us battery charges, basically. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Yes, it did. So we take this. Oh, we can't afford it. We take this. And we open the chests. We take what we want and re-roll the rest. Do I want this? Probably not. Reroll. More HP. We're going to open the chests because in order to get another... Oh, there's a battery charge. What are you doing? Well, we do need to buy the battery charge, so... Why don't we uh, recharge this like this? I don't know if there's enough weight. It should be if we do the bosses. Uh, to... Ooh, thank you for blowing up the fire. Unfortunately, there was nothing else. Uh, I haven't seen these things for a while. I guess we don't do Sheol very often uh, in the normal campaign. So, basically what's going to happen is eventually we get um, pedestals, basically. Then we start re-rolling things even more weirdly, like with a D6 or something. If we can get one, which we might be able to. Where's the other one? No other one? Okie dokie. Uh... We might as well open this. It hurts, but whatever. Do I want any of this? I kind of want the Ace of Spades. I don't really care about the tower. I will take the HP because I just spent some. And that'll do. Yes, we'll take the Cancer Trinket. We'll also run away from that. Ah, that's how you get um, AWAS. We'll put this down here. AWAS. Should have picked up a reroll. Look, I'll get this right eventually. Buy the battery charge. Buy mm, money. <laughs> okay, look, money. Good. T money. Buy the battery charge. Open the chests. Reroll everything we don't want, which is everything. Buy the battery charge. Give me some money. There we go. Open the chests. See, now that we have chaos, ah, that's why you want chaos. Chaos means that you end up with anything in golden chests rather than just the like, guppy's head, uh, etc. The good of the one. The luck upgrades are helpful. Probably help. I don't know if the good luck upgrades help in this mode. Actually. Infested. Sure. Infested. I'm not going to take the HP. I don't want it. Anything not open or that we still want? Oh, boom. Good. Godhead. Fucking yes. <laughs> That's why we're here. 
This is amazing. I should have done this ages ago. Oh, well, now we can start streaking, right? Didn't pick up the battery charge. Kind of doesn't matter at this stage, but I would like to see Crown of Light appear in one of these chests. Uh, we'll keep, keep buying some money because we can still get outrageously powerful. <laughs> Wouldn't mind uh, finding a Perth or Ruin as a result of all of this, actually. That would be nice. Take nickels and things. We haven't actually fought the boss yet. We should probably fight the boss. Apparently we've had this item before, but we'll have it again. Trinity Shield. Let's fight this uh, set of bosses. Here's your Godhead effect for you. Homing tears with auras that uh, themselves do considerable amount of damage. Yeah, 3 HP for 1 HP. Nice try. Satan. We are outrageously powerful, don't know if you noticed. Uh, and we're going to keep making it worse. Oh, don't mean to open that. Buy this. Open this, open this. What are the chances of Godhead, though? I mean, we do have Chaos, understandably. That's why we're here. But at the same time, the chances of actually finding Godhead in one of these chests is basically... It's very low. It's like 1 in 400. Two of cards. I don't really need the credit card. Ooh, credit card. Oh, it's already a free roll. Okay. It means we could, like, explode this. Oh, no. Battery charges. Ah, fuck. You... If you make everything free... Ah, uh, that's annoying. Which is now all shit, and I don't want any of it. But if you were to make everything free... You would have to re-roll the whole shop in order to get the things back anyway. I don't want to have to be free dummies. So, I mean, I was thinking of using credit card in the shop. This is the last opportunity to use the shop. I'm not sure I really care about the red HP. It might be a good idea to have it just on the off chance. Shadows. Battery charge, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. That's got us one step closer to 1001%, actually. I mean, obviously, we've now got real plat, which I should have had a long, long time ago uh, in a galaxy far, far away, but I didn't. <sighs> Alas. What have we got here? One mission dodge. I don't want to be dodge. World card. The world. Does not show as a secret room because it technically is a super secret room. Uh, and we'll open this, and that's basically it. Chariot. We'll take the chariot uh, and move on to what is going to be the penultimate floor. That was fun. Let's do it all again. There's no shop on this floor. Uh, there is. There's no item room on this floor. Yes, please. The High Priestess. I guess we could squash something. There is a curse room there. I don't really care about the Ankh. Um, the Cancer Trinket here is giving us such a massive upgrade anyway. It's kind of difficult to get enthusiastic about the Ankh. Yeah, it's a, I think it doubles your rate of fire. Oh, you were behind me, were you? Well, that's just cheap. Don't think there was a fast recharge in the shop. Don't recall whether there was a reroll in the shop. Another guppy item. Oh, there is a battery charge. All right. So we will press this one time. We might as well finish uh, the floor. We're not going to get any benefit out of min maxing the, re the automatic recharging, basically, for doing waves. So we might as well just, you know, finish the job. Pop up. Oh, you're over there. And we'll push this, which is always a horrible wave. But not when you have a uh, godhead, apparently. Godhead guppy. We just beat everything at once. Get these. Might as well take the money, we can't really avoid Oh, for f <laughs> Water into the fire. I haven't even got my credit card. I can't get a free HP upgrade. What a shame. Uh, cool. Didn't mean to do that. Free roll it. Get this. It's a live bomb. Perthra? Hey guys, whatever. I mean, there's still a small chance that we get 
What are we looking for? Ooh, spun! Ha <laughs> uh, There's a small chance that we get the crown of light. So I'm going to keep doing this until someone gets sick of me. What is this doing here? Let's see, let's see about the pills. We might, might be able to get some benefit out of pills. Not really. Uh, flat penny, no. Golden chest. Maggie's faith, no. Keep this. We roll. It is possible to slowly run out of things to pick up. Uh, but it seems unlikely. I think it's unlikely. Because the idea is that the chests pay out with more than one thing. And they are themselves a thing. But if you keep picking up stuff you don't want, you end up, you know, running out of reroll targets. Which is a clear and present danger. I wouldn't mind finding like, maybe the D6 as well. Because, I mean, who needs these shitty items that keep showing up? No one, in case you're wondering. Four cents. The other thing is you have to keep picking up money. Take this nickel, that's basically a reroll. It's literally a reroll. Boom! Oh, I didn't open the chest. I'm uh, getting a little bit hasty, I think. Bacano. We'll use that. Sure. Because obviously I'm really looking for items, so I'm not really paying attention to the fact I also... Ah, oh, I've used my reroll. Yes. Get in here, right? get, get some money. A little bit perturbed that we're not getting very much money back out of all this. There we go. Buy that. Open the chest. The whole point is you open the chest and then re-roll. I mean, come on. And then they turn into golden chests eventually. There we go. Got another golden key. And some more cash. Usually there's enough cash. I don't want this. I'm right here. Don't appreciate that. Can't re-roll a live bomb, by the way. Uh, yes, we will take Curved Horn over the Cancer Trinket, which is probably the only actually uh, better trinket. Nothing in there. It's got five cents. No nickels. Chase. Open, open, open. I mean, this could get a little bit boring, so I'm probably going to stop in a minute because I'm getting bored, and if I'm getting bored, so are you. Flank rune. It was a per throw. Fucking have it. There you are. Whatever. We roll. Maybe one or two more. It's addictive, okay? It's like gambling with no losers, except, you know, me and you for watching. I didn't open them. Be quiet, Brian. Answers. answers. Well, that's a secret room. What am I doing here? I'm completely backwards. I've got myself inverted. Somehow. Why is that cat making a noise in my video? Just wants to be popular. It's not how you go about it. You should be making your own videos. Oh yeah, brilliant secret room. Glad I made the effort. You know what I could do? I could hurt myself on... Absolutely nothing here. <laughs> Just have a guess that. There we go. Now there's more money on the ground. And I can get this back. Oh dear. Two, three, four, five. Reroll. This is fun. I know I said a couple more. There is actually a reroll in here. Which is annoying because I can't use it. that nickel. Uh, this has become tedious, so I'm going to open these chests see what we win. Locust horns. Fair enough. I mean, we did get Godhead, but I was hoping to scum this up a little bit more than I did. What are you doing? Helping. I got Godhead. That? By scumming up Greed Mode for the first time that we've played Greed Mode on the channel. So I'm just going up greed mode. I shouldn't really have this much money um, on account of how I've been spending it on battery charges and not picking it up. Oh, help. Leave me alone. Okay.
can't hear you. Because you're quiet. You know I've got headphones on. So you have to speak up. We are guppy, but... I'm wondering whether I should have kept the cancer trinket. Because the curve... Oh, the curve torn is fine and all, but... Don't let Greed pick up money, by the way, because that's... That's his, uh... It's me. He'll heal himself. Especially not a five... Five cents. Can't have five cents. Uh... Stop! Stop trying to hit me and... Just stop. I've got an infested pill. Let's make some spiders. Early on, I could have got hive mine, but I didn't get hive mine, so... Uh... Nothing here dies. I mean, I was saying I should get hive mine just in case I get guppy, and then... I got guppy, but I didn't have hive mine. I mean, he's got no chance. It's great to see Godhead for the first time in literally my entire Isaac career. All 500 hours. Still not seeing Godhead until today when I decided, you know, let's scum it up. See if we can get Godhead by faffing around with the greed machine. Is there any point in filling this up again? Don't know. Let's watch. What are we on? Oh, <laughs> good timing. Well, we got Godhead. We've got one left to get. Thank you for joining me for that episode, which was still quite long considering um, I suppose I spent all my time pressing the spacebar. Uh, and hopefully, I think I'm just going to do that again and see if we can get Crown of Light. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.